Hello everybody, this is Alpayflake. Welcome to another part of Freedom Wars. Anyways, on to, this, to the uh, next tutorial area. Basic Operation CG, uh, CG1-2 Re-Education Operation 2. Here, we're going to learn how to do thorn shit. Which is kind of gross. Basically, they're going to teach us how to latch on to abductors. Not abductors, but the big fucking mechazoids. So again, we cannot see where we are going. So I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna leave the footsteps in in the dark and stuff. You should have a cut that shit out, but they're throwing footsteps in to immerse us. It's kind of nice. So, Intel, show that off. Nature of the enemy, deployment unclear. Escape scope of available resources unknown. So, this is stuff you need to really read to help you understand what you need to do. I need to raise my mic a little bit more. Anyways, uh, Department of Volunteer Management, this program is designed to help us get good. So the, the game's gonna load the map, you know. If you're gonna be watching this part for part, I gotta explain this to you so you know what to look at as I play on this game. So this has four zones. Instructions given here. Oh, wait, the education issue. Instructions given here are for the Thorn Weather Control Scheme. There are different kind of control schemes. You can't do it on doors. Woo! All right. So, cling onto walls by leaping with R from walls. You can perform close range attacks or range attacks if an assault weapon is equipped. Hold down L while a melee weapon is equipped to lock onto an enemy. While locked on, the camera will follow the target enemy. You can also launch a thorn attack against a target enemy. With the with the thorn attached, press triangle to perform a leaping attack. Press L again while locked on to stop engaging the enemy. So L to lock on, and aim with L if you have a gun on, which I'm gonna do right now. All right. So before I get out there, so now I can shoot. But anyways, here's what I'm gonna do. So I actually have to go all the way down here. I gotta change my sensitivity later on. I'll do it later on. So, which is kind of cool. You can actually be sneaky and stuff. So moving on to the next weapon, let me just uh, lock on. So I can actually do a thorn, which I did in the very beginning of the game. Man, you're being sensitive. Oh, I have to hold on. My bad. There we go. So. I'm gonna back up so I can show this off a bit more. So, you know, or I can let go with it. You press R again. But I'd rather, you know, if you wanna be more precise, press triangle. You gotta get really good at this game, cause there's a, there's a huge learning curve. So, I mean, you can't jump, so. You leap into combos and stuff like that. Switch it to your guns, aim. All that stuff you can do. So I actually want to get this stuff. For the main reason is, you know, it's nice to have things. All right, I don't think I could do anything on this. No, I can't. Anyway, so if you press square while you're in a gun, you can actually just shoot like this. It won't be less accurate, but. It'll work. I mean, it counts. So on to the next mode. You can see there's a big eye thingy there. Charging the thorn. Hold down R to charge the thorn for a dual level attack that will deplete the thorn gauge. Other uses the thorn rust to deplete this gauge. Charge one, sinner snare. Presses a trap to ensnare sinners in the vicinity. Charge two, binding thorn. Fires a thorn that incapacitates abductors. The thorn gauge will return to whatever that symbol is and. This attack cannot be used again until he returns to whatever that symbol is, but blue, or teal, or aqua. I don't know my colors. So you can shoot this motherfucker down. These guys are going to start attacking me now, so I'm not going to aim. You can actually run and gun away. But some people will, you know, if you're PvPing, they'll just let you onto you. That's pretty cool, I mean, if you, like, let's say there's a floor is lava, I'm pretty sure this game will have that. You might want to want to do this. Or manual shoot. So yeah, there's a lot to this game. You gotta know your buttons. 
The reason I didn't play this when I started checking this out is because I like, oh man, you gotta remember this shit if you wanna get good. So anyways, go into my theme, uh, female. So you can actually latch on. I'm just pressing square, or I can sever this motherfucker's arm off. Since he was already weak, I also got a trophy. You know. Yeah. So I'm gonna charge this. But this time I'm gonna face him. This is what I mean by charging. So I actually knocked him down enough. I'm gonna let him get up so he can show off something else. I don't think I could be able to show this off. Though. I didn't want to use adrenaline because I want to press X. So you can also pick up their body parts for materials. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. So lock on, hold the L. Look at all those limbs you can lock onto. And. I'm trying to remember what that limb is. The elbow, well. Fuck. Forearm, there you go. So I'm locked onto this one right now. But I'm gonna lock onto the hand right now. So I. Since I charge it all the way to level 3. His hand is, you know, binded. So, I can drag him down too as well. So, if I circle, you gotta mash it. If you have a stronger level 2 charge, it'll be a better. And you can drag this motherfucker down and wail on him. So, yeah. There's a lot to this game. It's just... I can tell already. Like, I didn't even play this far. I think after this mission is when I stopped playing. I can tell there's gonna be a lot to this game. And the control scheme is very unforgiving. So pick up the materials, move on. I'm gonna go with my gun because I have a feeling. Well, to me, it's just quicker. This tutorial end. So here's another one. When locked onto an abductor, the color of the targeting circle will vary depending on the component's characteristics. The blue is a pod. The circle is a cerebral component, and uh, yellow is vulnerable to drag down. So red, cut him down. Blue is just, I don't know what it means by pod. And, uh, you know, yellow means you can actually bring him down. You can use the right analog stick to move between lockdown targets, which I was doing earlier. When clicking onto the blue pod or a red cerebral component, press triangle to start cutting. Keep tapping the circle to deal to use damage or press X to leave to safety. And sometimes, like, Shadow of the Colossus, they will fucking want to swap you down. With the door and attached to the abductor, press circle to exude the drag down. I already showed this off. So, I didn't get to show off with the gun, but let's do that real quick. So, level 2. Level 2, you can actually make something to help you out, assist. Because you can actually be. Everyone's a healer in this game. So, anyways, I'm gonna leap into him. Not leap. Well, I'll do a leap attack. You actually attack him with your melee weapon. But since I didn't, you know. I did a leap attack with the gun on. You actually wanna do not do a leap attack. So I'm locked on on him, on top of him. And look as he is moving, I'm still, you know, moving around with this movie. So I'm gonna switch the weapon. I'm gonna sever this fucker's arm off. So this one's uh drag downable. Do it from the leg. Hope you're good at mashing! So you want to charge it for some- Well, I'll show you right now. So let's do this before I destroy it. Because you actually need to do it. I fucked up too. So since I leap to the core, I can actually save someone. A citizen! Citizen Reclamation, page one of two. Citizens Reclamation is the process of transporting free citizens to resource reclamation units, RRUs. Reclamation, my bad. Citizens are, are identified by their unique attire. And that's their attire. Press circle when sending your citizen to pick them up. Press X while carrying a citizen to make an evasive leap. This is crucial, I assume. And hold on X to run. Note that sudden changes of directions are not possible when running with a citizen. Take care to not run into obstacles as this will cause you to drop the citizen. So you can trip and you can't turn as you run. So you pick your direction and stick with it. And then you gotta dodge. You can also leap. It's better to run. See? Just showing that off. You can drop them. Hey, you get a trophy for that. As it shows on the left, it shows you what you're doing. 
It's not mostly for you, but for other party members. You can't leap over this stuff. At least I would assume. But you can't take cover. So that's kind of cool. And it's just let him go right next to the pod and you're good. What? He's supposed to go inside. That was... whatever. No, you have to walk into it. Not bad. Alright. I don't want to return to myself. I want to fuck this dude up. Oh well. I got level 5. I missed some units, but it's cool. So I'm gonna donate all this stuff. Donate everything. Donate everything. I have a feeling I should keep the first aid kit, but I'm not going to. So let's donate all that shit. So with that, I reduced my census by 127 years. I'm down to 9,989 years. So have you guys absorbed this in yet? We're into part two or three parts in of this game and there's so much to absorb into this. So oh, much. For those who weren't familiar with um, FPS or TPS games, or uh, what's the word? RPGs, some RPGs, I guess, tactical ones. Loadouts are basically set slots, like let's say slot section one or loadout one is my melee loadout or mail, uh, section 2 is my I'm gonna be a healer loadout you know stuff like that I don't think I need to go into the menu for that and she's pretty much explaining what I just said so low uh, fuck it loadout select your weaponry thorn type and combat items select your accessories weaponry combat items and a direct orders yes your accessory can fight I did not mention this I assumed it was self-explanatory so now I actually can fiddle with the controls of this game. Also, she was saying, my accessory was saying, um, there are some missions, she, she didn't really say it exactly, but she was implying that there are some missions that you're probably going to want more guns or ammo than melee weapons or something to help you rescue citizens much quicker. I assume there are going to be traits to help you pick up citizens quicker, the animation, stuff like that. So you can also fit around with the control type. I will go to that right now to show that off loadout. I'm just going to take off the new real quick. Actually, loadout, you can also, you know, load out your accessory too. I'm most likely going to make my accessory a range bazooka type person. But anyways, uh, I need to check out this control s scheme real quick. So we already know what options are usually for. So there's a, a hunter type, like, um, you know, settings that you want your controller based around. So if you're, this is the default one, the thorn wither one, but the hunter, the sprinter, and technical. So like hold R to dash on, you want to use, you know, whatever suits you best. I'm going to check these out later on, so I just feel like showing that off. Display settings, I'm going to go here real quick. I just want to know what this is on. Okay, this is on. Actually, that's on. There's some things I need to check out real quick. Maybe I'm missing out something. Don't need to show that. Chat settings, I probably play online later on. Like in Smash Brothers or other any other game, you can actually set your chat settings so if you want to reply also mmos like Fan fantasy star online is probably like the best one i can you know this is comparable to if anything this is kind of like fantasy star online fuck it you're fantasy star online so they're actually good i actually just i wish there's uh i was looking for the sensitivity but i couldn't find it so whatever so now i have to talk to my accessory if i try to go to sleep i will get fined Yay, I cannot do non-tutorial shit. 
再教育ボランティアで得た恩赦ポイントで安全保障局発行ボランティア参加権の権利解放申請を行ってください So I need to earn points or money or honor, I guess. I'm thinking of World of Warcraft here. To take a test or tests to reduce my sentences. Alright, she's talking about the eye. The window on liberty. I think it's supposed to say of, but whatever. The window on liberty allows sinners to claim entitlements, donate resources to the greater good, connect to PlayStation Store, and access a host of useful services. More options will become available as you progress throughout the game. So let's do that right now. You can claim entitlements, request image overhaul, you know, how you look, physical remodeling, again, how you look, style catalog, save custom styles you have created for you and your accessory, request nominative reassignment to change my name. So our allegiance to a new panopticon. This is a paid service. So you actually have to pay for this shit. So hope I didn't pick wrong with it. <laughs> Claim entitlement. Spend entitlement points to earn special prisoner privileges. This is stuff for my home, like cosmetic stuff, like uh, new color pigments, uh, like hairstyle, shit like that. You know, in-game uh, accessory stores. Entitlements are unlocked by spending entitlement points. No shit. More entitlements become available as code clearance increases. The entitlement check the entitlement catalog to see what rights are available. You can also buy uh, equipment here. This is kind of your store. Options related to lock entitlements will be marked as such. Unlocking entitlements will unlock a whole range of features, so be sure to claim as many as you can. I suppose everyday entitlements, aesthetic entitlements. This is you know your visual appearance as they show here in the icons. Equipment entitlements, weapons, everyday entitlements. This is uh. Right to take part in the ops operation. This is something we need so we can continue on with the story. But before I do that, let's show aesthetic. Clothing. Uh, I actually have a permit to, you know, wear clothes. I. Yeah. Headphones. Full face helmet permit. Simple glasses. You know, these are just permits. Level one binding thorn. The one item, two item. Whoops, shit, forgot to get that attack. So now I can use these points so I only have 231 of them to take part in these quests or operations. I'm, I'm probably gonna go call them quests, but I'll try to do my best to call them operations. Give me more. Anyways, got a trophy for that. If I request an image overhaul on me, I can actually change my color of my game. Um, my game. Uh, my suits and shit like that. You can actually get different types of suits later on, as from what I believe. Anyways, we're talking about your color palette. I can actually accessorize myself even more. I'm happy with what I have, but I am gonna change my. I was gonna say headphones, but fuck yeah, I think I'd probably change my clothes real quick. So look at all, I just look at all these stuff you can actually just this por this portion, the inside portion, the tie. Pants, the stripes on the pants, including the chains, the shoes, the collar, or actually more like the headphone. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Can you guys tell me what that is? It's, almost, it's kind of almost like a pointless strap. I know it's supposed to make it so you can close it, but it's still almost pointless. You know, I will keep it like that. I'll do the rest of the stuff later. You can also do um your accessory as well. I mean, you can change your eyes. You gotta buy some more later on. You can't do your accessory yet right now, I guess. So, uh, you know what? Let's talk to you real quick. I'm gonna save too, by the way. So I got a new operation that I talked to. Alright, more story, fuck it. So what do I have to do? Alright, now for our actual mission. I gotta save a citizen from an abductor. Those big ass white bony motherfuckers. So... What's an abductor? They're kind of like evil Gundams. So 
So she she's pretty much saying what we did in the training ground. We're gonna do it for reals now. Save the citizen. Then fuck him up if you can. So our Panopticon actually sees citizens here as tools. They help oil this uh, operation, Not operation, but way of life we have right now. ギリアには人類が生き残る上で物的資源以上の価値があるため常にパノプティコン間で争奪の対象となっています。他に質問はありますか？ああ、we're good. I can't wait till I start playing, actually playing this game, because I'm talking way too much for this to game. <laughs> Anyways, prepare for deployment all that shit. Ah, oh, okay, so... While... It's legitimate... Uh, it's... It's, uh, what's the word? It's not real... But they will try to kill you. Kind of like the danger room in uh, X-Men. Like, there's no huge threat. So like, in, let's say for Left 4 Dead, if you get your ass knocked down or die, people can actually pick you up and you can keep on fighting. Also, your accessory can do that, as explained here. But what I meant by the danger room in X-Men, I mean like, there's no real threat other than inside of being that danger room. <laughs> so yeah. So there's gonna be one more thing to do on here. The final tutorial level shows what you can do now. Anyways, in operations, sustainability, that blue looking galaxy Neptune icon anyways tells you how many times you are permitted to be redeployed after being incapacitated. If it reaches zero, this operation will be considered a failure. If an operation ends with sustainability at 20% or lower, you will be deemed to have made insufficient effort and your sentence will be extended. So don't lag it, motherfucker, and, well, just fucking do what you're supposed to do within the time limit. But, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna call this a pot, because, yeah, long enough as I assume. So, thank you for joining me on this part of.